One big hello there to everybody. Sorry I'm late. I'm either an hour late or two hours late, depending on where you are. Because daylight savings today. I think the clocks went forward. Or back, I don't know, they might have gone backwards. I don't keep track, because everything I have with a clock on it automatically updates. So I don't have to manually change any clocks, and I haven't done for years. So. Late by up to two hours, depending on your time zone. Late by an hour, if you're somewhere in New South Wales or Victoria or... No, Queensland's not in sync anymore, are they? I don't know. Either way, that was a problem. Second problem was, second night in a row, I slept incredibly poorly. Napped sequentially instead of slept. Sleeped? Slept. Ah... Uh, and then I was up at about 4 a.m. ish. Dropped to the new world, did a bit of basic level grinding. Just to try and catch up to the 25 we need to reach today. Um, lost track of time while doing that. Suddenly realized what time it was, was according to Windows. I went, oh shit, I need to stream. So, mostly my fault. Partly the fault of a thing called daylight savings, which never made any sense to me ever. But hi, how's everybody doing? We're here now. I started. What, four hours early yesterday? So, on balance... On balance, I'm, I'm early. I've banked up early points. In fact, I started four or five hours earlier last weekend as well on the Sunday stream, so... Luckily for me, my regulars around here don't bitch and whine at me when I am late. They just go, oh yeah, it's cool. Don't really care anyway. If you're there, you're there. If you're not, you're not. I don't, I don't really care. I just watched you, so there's noise in the background. Hi. Mix, T-Dog, how you doing? I'm okay outside of doing yard work. Hooray, yard work. I haven't had a yard in years. I miss having a yard. I don't miss mowing it, but I miss having a yard. So yes, uh, New World again today on the PTR, Public Test Realm. Checking out the new onboarding experience, yada, yada, yada. Uh, why is that light red? That, oh, sorry, I know, I, I fiddled with that last night. I forgot to change it back to purple or blue or whatever it usually is. I'll leave it as red. It's fine. That's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Um, how about we do this instead? There we go. No, it doesn't matter. I got a button to do that now. Suddenly realized I can make buttons to do that. People. Fulcum coming in, 24 months, and... Text to speech? Two years of lurks. Jesus, that took a second. Awkward. Well, did I just stroke out because I'm already overtired? Hello, Fulcum. Good morning. Thank you for the two years worth of, uh, worth of lurks. See, that's just the dual color one. The one I did before was a rainbow one. I've got the button labeled as rainbow. I just might relabel it as queer. I just you know, do all the colors. That's the queer button. I've also got another button here that does a noise as well. It's been sitting there for um, the last few streams, but I keep forgetting to use it at funny times. But it does this. FBI, open up! <sighs> so yes, uh, continue on New World. I'm up to level 23, so I've added a couple of, like, two or three levels since yesterday's stream, just pottering about. I did uh, the first part of the quest lines for the other... Um, factions. Good lord, it's going to be a good stream. And I chose well. Purple faction has the best home base. The other ones are quite boring. One's a church, and the other one's just kind of a barracks kind of thing. Syndicate home base is way cooler by a very wide margin. I've always played Syndicate anyway. 
literally never rolled anything else. Not even before the game launched, back in the alpha and beta days. I did a very poor job of that coffee. Ah, well then, show. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we just get on with things? I think we shall. So, I moseyed on up to Morningdale. No, Windsorwood. Morningdale's down here, right? Where's Morningdale? Grimscale, Everfall, Reachwater, he was dead. This is sure. Where's Morningdale? Is Morningdale even in this game? There it is, Morningdale, up there. Man, I have just forgotten everything relevant about this map, apparently. Anyway. I've come down to, um, Windsward, whose town name is now Corinth, which I'll never remember, because I noticed this is where the fishing quest is, so I figured we'd do the fishing quest to start off with, nice and easy, probably deliver us a little whack of XP, and there's another quest up here, I think that's, no, that's the faction initiation quest, which you can't do, because I've already chosen. Um, then there's the excavation, which we're planning to do when we get to level 25, because that's where it's locked. So I figured I better unlock the faster all points down here anyway while we're at it. See you. And we're down for equipment. Let's have a look here. Uh, nope, don't need that. And don't need those. Did get a fire stuff here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Got some reagents and whatnot to put away. And we should restock on ammo as well. Uh, wait, did I run past the... Where am I? Where am I? Where is the stash in... Oh, there it is. Almost forgot. Funny thing is, out of all the towns, this one's changed the least that I've seen so far. This one's pretty much identical to what it was, except I think they've redone some of the textures to be a bit darker, I don't know. But that right there in front of us, that was my... that was the first house I ever bought in-game, and they did housing. I like that house. Not in a very convenient location. I chose a place closer to the middle of the map eventually, but I like that house best. I had a nice little veranda, great view. What am I doing? I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Um, why is that not stacked properly? Weird. Okay, reagents and crafting ones. I said crafting mods. And we don't need that. No, I don't want to link it in chat. Oh god damn it. I'm all over the place here. Shift click. Not 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 alt. Okay. Everything's in decent repair. I did get my ass kicked this morning. I got swamped by a whole bunch of mobs. Near entrance to a sort of mini dungeon thing. Which it's a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go trigger the fishing quest. If I can remember how to get out of this village. Yes, here we go. You know, the different colouring here just might be the uh, seasonal decoration stuff. Should be able to get some herbs and whatnot down here as well. Because I haven't done any potion making yet. That'll get us a little bit of XP as well. Bigger fish, moop. Or possibly poom backwards, which is a much more pleasant sound than moop. Poom! My gun makes that sound. Hang on a sec. Uh see? Poom! <laughs> pretty much the same down here. So, before we trigger that fishing quest, I'm just going to pop over here, because there should be a little stash of herbs up on the hill here. If I remember correctly, it's the hyssop stuff that we need to make the potion base. 
Uh, hello? Oh, there's the hemp. Where's all the where's all the herbs gone? Replaced them with these. Used to be a big big little pile of herb. Big little pile. Iron battle metal. Oh wait, here's some herbs over here. Why'd they move the herbs? There used to be way more herbs. Out of there, Boulder. Uh, yep, this is the hyssop I needed though. Cool, cool. Used to also be way more hemp on this patch here as well. That was pre-release though. I already nerfed that by the time it released. Maybe less pleasant, but more fun to say. I don't know about that. P words are better comedy words, as a rule. P and K, they're more percussive. So poom, I think is funnier than moop. Hello, I'm Master Fisher Shields. Hello, Fisher Shields. I am Natist. Ah. Ahoy there. Before you get to the adventure and the glory, you'll need to learn how to fill your belly with the bounty of the sea. First, you'll need some bait. Some of the most readily available bait are wood lice, creepy crawly creatures that live in bushes. The rest you can get through various other means. Right. I think I might be carrying some of those already, but I guess we have to care, uh, go get some more. No, I actually don't have any wood lice. Just some other bait. Alright, this is always a little bit tedious, this bit. Yeah. Because you only get them like 10% of the time when you're harvesting bushes. Here for that. Tsunami Sean, how are you doing there? Alright, there's two. Alright, that was relatively painless. I might have upped the rates on those a little bit, perhaps. <laughs> Used to take like five minutes of scouring bushes for those. Here you go, buddy. Fishing pole. Believe you me. How goes your fishing? Ah, let's get it on the action now. Fishing involves three basic steps: casting, hooking, and reeling the sucker in. It may take some getting used to, but once you get into the pattern, you can go for hours non-stop. Giggity. If you can catch three fish, take them and go show Ruby and Everfall what old shields taught you. All right, let's see. Uh, is it F3 still? No. I need to equip the fishing rod first. Really annoys me how when you get a new tool, it doesn't auto equip. Although, I guess, you know, it needs to teach you to equip it. I don't know. But at this point in the game, though, I've already equipped a bunch of stuff. You can just auto equip it, game. You know, I don't have another fishing pole. All right. Uh, to equip bait, we'll have, I don't know, some of these night crawlers. There we go. And cast. Wink. Oh yeah, I remember this mini game now. One of the better fishing mini games I've experienced. Makes a lot of intuitive sense. Not too fiddly, but just engaging enough. I got some seaweed, yay! Miss the fish. Wind, 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 ease it off. Wind, 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 wind. Hey, one fish. I'm sticking too late. It's between staying on nine too late yesterday and depressive oversleeping. Can't get out of bed till nearly two p.m. Fair enough, mate. Been pretty much the entire day playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> nice. 
Gets it hooks it get, gets its hooks into you, doesn't it? I think I actually need to stand on the jetty to actually get to that fishing spot if I remember. Well, I guess the game actually countered that seaweed is a fish, judging by my quest progress here. <laughs> I guess it just means catch something, not necessarily and fish. Most of the fish hiding in my seaweed. Could have been. A little fingerling or something. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Dragonfish, eh? That's a good one. Alright, how's the game now? So much better. I mean, mechanically, it's still very much the same, as far as the combat and everything goes, but there's way more variety in enemies now. The questing system for the opening of the game is way better. Like, you get so much better involved. The, 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 the lore and the world building is way, 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 way better than it used to be. There's a lot less running back and forth pointlessly between town and there and town and there and town and there. Now it's just sort of flows so much better. Um, haven't done any of the new endgame stuff they've jiggered with yet, but there's a new endgame progress system that's apparently quite a lot better uh, as far as the feedback I've heard so far from other players. So yeah, it's 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 been a significant improvement since uh, 10 months ago when I flew away from it after launch. I and 90% of the player base <laughs> abandoned it six to eight weeks after launch. Um, so yeah, I, I, I said this at the close of the stream yesterday, I think, but I think it's legitimately on a path of redemption at this point. Like if the devs keep working in the direction they're working, I think it's going to be a just a fantastically improved experience that might legitimately redeem itself and actually get a fair chunk of its player base back. I'm quite impressed, actually. It's, um... It's a bigger year one improvement than No Man's Sky had, than Fallout 76 had, which are two, you know, recent games that I got severely burned on at launch. Um, you know, their first big patches, big change patches, were less significant, I think. Um, so yeah, hopeful. Reason to, uh... Reason to be encouraged, I think. The only issue is the rejiggered experience is the first 25 or so levels, which is what we've been playing through over the past three days. The mid-game is still unchanged, and the mid-game is where I fell off. But, you know, they are going to change that. It's just not ready to test yet. They're just testing this. Then they're going to do the mid-game stuff. So I'm not sure whether it's ready to come back to the game on retail servers yet, because the mid-game is still largely the same, I think. Um, some of the mechanics have changed, some of the systems have changed. They've streamlined a lot of the crafting. Uh, there's not five different tiers of reagents anymore, it's just one reagent for all that sort of stuff now. So a lot of that is a whole lot less fiddly and pain in the ass than it used to be. Um, but yeah, once I'm done with this, I probably will go back to my main character on, on retail servers, have a bit of a tool around. I don't know whether I'll do that on stream or not. Um, either way, next weekend we're not streaming because I'll be at PAX, obviously, if I haven't mentioned that a few times already. Um, yeah. Better improvement than Grounded. <laughs> well, I mean, it was two years since I played Grounded in earliest, earliest access, but yeah, didn't feel like 1.0 Grounded made that much progress, actually. I think we might try Grounded again just in creative mode, just so I can have a play with the building though. We might stream that weekend after next or something. Because I do like the concept of it. I was just very frustrated with some of the systems and just being ambushed by fucking spiders every three minutes. <laughs> Alright. Now we have to talk to... Where is... Where is... Where is... Alright, 
the way up there. I think we'll just take the long road up. And kill a few things as we go. So I just need to uh, turn on my desk fan here because I'm starting to get a bit stuffy again. But yeah, the the player base for the retail servers has actually grown for the first time ever. Like at launch, there was about what was it, ninety thousand? No, it was nine hundred thousand. Just shy of a million players, anyway, wasn't it? And then 90% of the player base dropped off and never came back and was bleeding players for the entirety of the year. But the last six weeks or so, the player ship has actually started to rise again as people come back to it. Try out the uh, changes on the PTR here and experiment with the new endgame stuff. And it seems to be holding on to those players who have come back and had a poke. Which is an encouraging sign as well. But, you know, we'll see. Also, I'm really liking the weapons they've added since I last played as well. The blunderbuss I'm carrying here. And the great sword on my back. Those are both new. The blunderbuss, I think, is in the retail servers at the moment. The great sword is only on the uh, PTR test servers at the moment. But I am liking it. I think it might need to be tuned back a bit, because it does feel like it might be on the edge of OP, but then again, I haven't played the game recently, so I don't know what the balancing feels like these days. We'll see about that too. So, East or EU for PTR? US East. It had slightly better ping for me than uh, the EU ones. But, you know, my lag is... Somewhere between 200 and 300, which is fairly capable within this game, as long as you're not doing PvP, obviously. PvP, I'll get murdered. <laughs> I'm not good at PvP at the best of times, but when I'm dealing with that kind of lag, I'll toast uh, video. Let's have a look here. Do, 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 show FPS. So yeah, right now my RTT is about 230-ish, which is better than I had in the alphas and the betas. I was dealing with about 320-ish on average back then. Um, and that was on West servers, which are slightly better for Australia's um, than East, obviously, because it's a direct line across the ocean that way. Um, but yeah, outside of a couple of enemies, like um, trying to dodge archer shots or trying to dodge lunges from wolves, the lag kind of makes it useless to try and do that properly. <laughs> Most other stuff works fine with this kind of uh, RTT timing, though. It's not so bad. It's tolerable. It's good enough to test anyway. It's, you know, I, I can I can have the experience of, of, of the game's questing rejig and opening starter uh, experience and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's still better. It's still better than I was dealing with in the uh, Alphas and Betas back when... Uh, I had the opportunity to take part in those. Had the same kind of problems back then. It was mainly wolves and archers that were the issue. Thankfully the hit scanning for my weapon is done client side, so it doesn't really affect my aim. Uh, melee can be a bit of an issue sometimes though. Lee hits seem to be checked uh, server side for some reason. Right, let's wander through these beautiful woods here. Said it a few times yesterday, I'm going to say it again now. This game had a lot of problems when it launched. How it looked was not one of them. Still think it's one of the best, if not the best looking MMO. Certainly, certainly the best looking with this um, art style and 
sort of fantasy setting. Some of the sci-fi ones might look a bit better because they're all shiny and polished and etc. And some of the anime ones, there could be an argument made because the art style is so clean and crisp. But as far as this, you know, semi-realistic kind of art style, I don't think there's an MM out there that can touch it as far as how lovely it looks to just wander through the world. I do wish the pop-in was slightly better though, especially with the fog. The fog's a bit distracting with that pop-in, but eh. MMOs have to make compromises. That's the nature of the beast. Man, I'm looking forward to being able to play Blue Protocol, though. Sometime next year. Western release. God, that game looks fun. Anime-style action RPG hack and slash. Gotta be fun. You got these fish yourself? Shields was right to send you in my direction to continue your training. I've got so much to teach you. Really? Hi there. I'm oh my god. Okay, I glitched. I can't seem to get my weapon out. There we go. There, Kitty. Don't sound good. Right, I believe I might have lagged out completely. Oh yes, there it is. Lag detected. Yeah, I can't move. I can't do anything. And the game just froze. That's the first time that's happened on the PTR for me. Can I wait for Blue Protocol? Right. It looks pretty sweet. Looks like it's still up. I think I might have just triggered some sort of auto kick because I was being attacked while in dialogue and tried to join a dialogue while I was being attacked. Maybe the game thought I was trying to do a weird exploit and kicked me. Nope. Nope. The server's literally just chunked up. Hmm. Looks like a bunch of people got kicked out for in a queue. Haven't seen this screen since launch. Well, not since the first week of launch anyway. And they added a bunch of servers. But then the player base died to such an extent that no server was full. <laughs> they have since uh, merged a bunch of servers, so there are full servers again now. So of the two Australian uh, worlds that are up, only one of them can be actually joined. Which happens to be the one I got merged to. <sighs> Blue Protocol equals the SAO MMO. I never got, but I always wanted. Yeah. Actually, I don't know whether Blue Protocol is strictly speaking a true MMO. Didn't they change direction a bit? Or am I getting confused with a different game? I might be getting a bit confused here. Uh, no, 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 it is listed as Massive Multiplayer Online. I must be thinking of something else that was similar. Alright, where am I? Where's my cat? There you are. Let's take care of you first this time. So I forgot to get my food buff up. Now then, we can have a chat uninterrupted. Shields was right to send you in my direction to continue. Hi there, I'm Master Fisher Ruby. Are you new to fishing? In freshwater, the more common baits you can acquire are snails, and in ocean water, clams. My colleague in First Light, Master Fisher Clemenson, would greatly appreciate this ocean water bait being delivered to her. Oh, we don't have to catch it ourselves this time? Because that was a pain in the ass. Don't tell her I said this, but she's been having some trouble getting bites lately. <laughs> no, we do have to catch it. 
Catch a snail in fresh water, catch a clam in salt water. <sighs> At least it's only one this time, instead of like, what was it, three? Did they nerf fishing without bait? Oh no, here we go. Oops, too early. Fishing used to work just fine without bait. Seems like they might have nerfed it down a little bit. Or I just got unlucky on the roll. A uh, bit of lag on that catch click as well, thanks to the server. So if I miss a fish, you'll know why. Oh, we had a treasure chest though. <laughs> I like to hold it aloft just like it was a fish. Oh, that animation to whisk it off the screen was a bit rough. Bloody hell. That was some good stuff. That damn fish drums sheet music. Wonder if all the music you get from treasure chests in the in the water is this particular track. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not a snail. I always appreciated you could actually see the fish you're catching. Oh wait, that is a snail. Nice. Look too big. I guess they're just big fish, big snails. Alright, now we need to salvage it in order to get the bait. Uh, C, click. Snail slime. Is that you? I don't remember getting snail slime before. Alright, now we need to find some salt water. Which... I think the closest... Can we fast travel to here? Or... Yeah, we can go back to the inn here, can't we? And just zerp straight down here and do it. Sure, let's go. Seeing as the in cooldowns are so short these days. <coughs> um, spending five minutes trying to eat ejector drive. Eat your drive. Because one or more programs will be using it. I'm at the point where I stop caring and just unplug the bastard. Yep. You are not alone. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Let's see. Yeah, just uh, head on down to here, I think. I assure you, game, I am checked in. I literally just fast traveled back there. Such a weird bug. I wonder if that's in the uh, retail servers at the moment as well, or it's just a weird one for the PTRs. Oh no, what happened here?
what irks me the most is there aren't any sodding programs open as on Safari. Yeah. Very occasionally, Macs just misbehave like that. Alright, I should be pretty safe to fish here if I recall correctly. No, wait, there's a new cave there that I don't remember being there. Alright, before we go fishing for clams, let's have a poke in here. Hello? Hello? I wonder if this is part of the... Really? That pig path found its way up to me. They have changed pathfinding for these guys. How did you manage to climb? Alright, don't know what this cave is for. Probably begin a quest related for this particular beach or something. But fine. Alright, can I fish in this water? Looks like I can. <clears throat> it reminds me actually, I need to whip out my Mac this afternoon to make sure everything's updated and set correctly for packs. That doesn't look like a clam to me. That looks like a wiggly wiggly fish. That's where clams are. I'm sure of it. I wish this game had uh, ray trace reflections. The screen space stuff just irks me these days. It was always distracting, but it's so much more distracting when you know there's a better way now. There's no reason not to put it in the engine. It's all client side anyway. Wouldn't hurt the performance of the uh, MMO itself. There we go, lovely. That was so much easier than this quest used to be. I got so frustrated with this quest originally. Alright, and... Excuse me, C. Click. Ooh, we got a pearl. A flawed pearl. Alright, now where do we need to be? Ooh, all the way over here. Alright, is there a fast travel? There's a fast travel point here, so let's make our way there. And I should have unlocked that one, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright, we need to get up there somewhere. Never tried clutching clams the rod for? No, I can't imagine it would work particularly effectively IRL. <laughs> but video games got a video game. And considering there's no swimming in this game, you can hardly go diving for them. <laughs> you could cast a net for them. That's, that's somewhat slightly more practical. Dragnet at least. Pull them up off the seafloor. Alright, let me have a look here. How am I getting to this? I'm going to have to go all up the way around. Really? Level 3 pig? So aggressive. Even, even the low level wolves will leave me alone at this point. No crusade? How you doing? <clears throat> I 
Leveling is rather fast. Yeah, they've, they've I don't know whether they've just, they've just sped it up for the PTR or they've sped it up in general. It doesn't feel like super crazy faster, but it does feel noticeably faster than it used to be. But the first, you know, the first 15 levels were always reasonably quick. But I feel like it didn't slow down quite as quickly as it used to for the next 10. Or maybe it's just because I've been keeping a little more critical path this time. Whereas with the live game, I tend to dick around and do a lot more gathering and whatnot, which is a little bit less XP rich, just because that's how I like to enjoy the game. Okay, let's see here. Yep. Uh, was the post made in Discord helpful? Uh, I watched it at like 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so I don't know how much I absorbed, but yes. It made some stuff make uh, more sense. As far as like the heart gems and the end game upgraded stuff and I guess what we used to call the high water mark, which was a mysterious and muddy um, mechanic that we figured out by trial and error basically, is now a much more clearer and better communicated system with a different way to boost. I'm going to need to watch that video again though, because again, I watched it when I was very bleary and muddy brained. So I might have to take another stab at it to make it make some more sense. What the? Since when are they aggressive on site? Like the regular, are you, are you still regular deer? Yeah, you're still regular deer. Like, there's a, there's a higher level deer up north that'll attack you on sight. But these guys used to just fucking run. Yeah, now he has a gotcha. Interesting. faster and update changed a lot of things crafting is way but yeah I had a look at the crafting stuff suddenly realized why I was I don't think I'm carrying any to show you. yeah here we go suddenly realized why I was picking up obsidian I thought they just might have renamed the sandpaper or something because they added obsidian as a different resource somewhere along the line but then I realized what was going on this used to be the standard tier 5 uh, reagent so what I discovered is They've actually nuked all of the reagent tiers. There used to be regular sandpaper, then a fancier sandpaper, then a slightly fancier sandpaper, then a different sandpaper, then a different sandpaper. And you had to have a specific sandpaper for a specific tier of crafting, and it was all just a huge pain in the ass. You could downgrade them. Uh, you know, you could break some apart to make the lower tier stuff. And, ugh, it was just a big, complicated mess that was always getting in the way. So what they've done, apparently, is just wiped everything, giving you one tier of reagent across the board. Which makes crafting a lot less of a pain in the ass of a material chase these days. Because, yeah, that used to be a bit of a nightmare. I mean, it wasn't so bad, but it was just, it kept getting in the way. Streamlines it significantly. All right, where is this fast travel point I'm looking for? I don't remember a fast travel point around this area. I don't know whether this is a new one or I'm just having foggy memory or coming at it from a different direction or something. Might have just been one I missed because they never used to be marked on the map quite as clearly. You could kind of tell where they were, judging by a little shape on the map, but now they're just sort of marked. Uh, no, I do remember that one now, actually. Now that I see it in context. Bum, bum, 
Yeah, what about the does? Are you aggressive? Nope, you still run. So yeah, so I guess it's just the bucks. Kuchonk. Alright, doop. Zoop. Um, I don't have that one yet, do I? Yep, so that was diff. Def oh wait, 12. Didn't it used to be 10? Why did it go up? I'm getting a faction discount. Minus 8. Oh, it's 20. Oh, I see. So I guess I was getting a 10 because I had a bigger faction discount or something. Or maybe that was just a leveling thing. Either way, it's way cheaper than it used to be. And there's no distance penalty anymore. Hooray! Now it was distance and encumbrance, wasn't it? Like the more you were carrying, the more expensive it got as well. Which is just a... Nobody liked that. Alrighty, let's uh, reset my little waypoint here. Actually, I don't need the waypoint because I've got a cost marker. Go away, please. Thank you. Alright, let's have uh, no XP. Alright, we'll have um, gathering, I guess. Teleportation is a flat Azoth cost. No weight distancing. Yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still get the faction discount though, which is nice. I always love these colours in this area. Figured that if I swap weapons back and forth, it actually reloads my uh, blunderbuss as well. So if I've only got one shot left, I can just switch, switch, and I get two shots back. I haven't fired the second shot. Unfortunately, it's not actually faster than just letting it reload naturally, so you can't sort of do that and get an instant reload. It still takes about the same time from an empty gun. But still. You sort of know if you've only got one shot left, and you're just about to start a different... Uh, Encounter. Did Ruby put you up to this? I don't know why she thinks I need the help. Don't get too cocky just because you got some bait. Hello there. I am Master Fisher Clemenson. Uh, here's a lesson. Have you ever seen a spot in the water that looks like it would be prime for fishing? These are called. Mm. It's a message from me to Master Fisher Warwick. It is imperative that you do not open this note. All right. Catch fish from active hotspots. Well, there are no hotspots around here at the moment, so womp womp. All right. I think we might move on from the fishing quest for the moment, because I was hoping for a bit more XP boost on that. But... Yeah, let's head for that. Uh, oh, there's a hotspot there. So yeah, we'll grab that. We'll go there, see if we can do it. We'll grab that fast travel point. And then we might loop back around to the town, maybe. Seems like a sensible enough plan. See what I mean about the uh, slight lag causing issue there? I should have hit that second shot. <laughs> Oops, I did the thing again. Keep forgetting, don't press the right mouse button to ADS, because that will cancel the mortar. Do 
Terrible shot. Better. Thought that was a waving stitch at the moment. Oh, the icon, right, I see. Enjoying the London so just am. All right, where the hell am I going? I've gotten lost on my way here. All right, I'm that way. Got all distracted by the fighting. RMB aim is pretty much reflexive. It totally is. Like, uh... I grew up in gaming when that was invented, right? Funny to think about a day when first-person shooters never used to have ADS. But, you know, I was a gamer when that change happened, and that just became the standard. So I've spent a tremendous amount of my gamer life Anytime I get a fire range weapon, just hit that right mouse button. Or indeed, left trigger. You know, if you're a savage. Enjoy the blunderbuss so much, I run with it uh, on live with musket. How does that go with uh, cartridge economy? Because I find with even one range weapon, I tend to burn through my bullets pretty quick. Although I guess, oh no, you can't really have one set for steel cartridges and the other set for iron cartridges or something, can you? Oh, I have to go this way. Though I suppose you could have steel cartridges and then drop to iron cartridges as you back up if you run out in the field. You can still do that fine. myself far too much in sideback early by clearing out much of a scan fiber by using cameras and using combat hacks to kill them all remotely. Yeah, that's super fun, isn't it? figured out that the uh, the pyro damage from my little grenades that I unlocked yesterday does a tremendous amount of damage over a surprisingly long time, so I can just kind of sit and forget it like I just did there. 
Just fired at this guy and walked away and he died of his own accord. Just burned to death. Uh, what the? You? Oh, there you are. Thought you might have been below the ground. Zeroing in on my aim on that one for long distance. Oh. Ba sound is so very yeah it is, isn't it? Just makes that very satisfying hollow thunk sound, doesn't it? Ah, oh, crap, I did it again. Just all oh, that right mouse button stuff. <laughs> Luckily, when you do actually right, right mouse button, it doesn't actually, it comes off cooldown immediately. So you're not tremendously punished for it. Small mercy. Fisher Warwick. Alright, you'd think they'd have a hotspot somewhere nearby for that quest, wouldn't you? Okay, so now we need to find that fast travel spot, which is just behind the ship. I like the lighting engine in this game as well. Oh, they got me on that one. He was nowhere close enough to hit me. I like how they put little armor and saddles and whatnot on these guys now. It's weirdly cute. Why do they pronounce that Warwick? It's Warwick. It depends where you come from. It is actually pronounced both ways depending on your cultural background and where you are. Like, it can depend on which side of the island you're from in Tasmania. There is a place called Warwick in Tasmania. And depending on where you're from, you might say Warwick or Warwick. Fast travel unlocked. Sweet. Let's see. I think we just fast travel leave at this point, actually. Alright. You know what? How about we try and do this again? See if this is still locked. Or glitched, or whatever the problem was. Where is it again? Uh, there. Right? No, that's hotspot. Do, do, do. Is it here? No, it's Marauders. Why can't I see it? Um, hmm. Nope. Can't from life me see where the quest marker is. In Pridwin. 
Who is Pridwin? First light, and four, wolf. I can't even see Pridwin. I used to know this map. God damn it. Everfall, three quarter. Windsward. Oh, Mullock's Bluff? I'm in Mullock's Bluff. Why can't I see it then? Should be. Yeah. No, the mark is definitely not there. It should be like right there, right? Or in here or whatever it is. Weird. Um. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't have changed the names of the towns. <laughs> also, I wish you could fast travel properly without having to zoom out a little bit. Here's Muck and Winsford to the west for fishing. Yeah, I've just been doing the fishing quest. Not from, um... I really did used to know this map from um, Everfall. Right? No, not Everfall. Is it Brightwood? The town where the river goes through. What is that one again? Fuck it, whatever. Treason? Is that you? Nice hat. Have you encountered Minister Lockheed? Yeah, okay. That quest is still bugged or incomplete or not active or whatever. Um which is probably why it's not even showing up on the map anymore. Okay, so the only active stuff we've got left is the hotspot hunts, so let's go find a quest which might offer up a bit more XP for us. Mysterious Raiders have taken over the ruins of Stonewatch, and we've been moles. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's go do that stuff. Bye, Treason! See you later! Alright, let's uh, see here. One east, one west. I think... Uh, yeah, I'll grab that one. We'll sail up around here, grab that one. Yeah, this is the uh, Marauder secret base, by the way. So much more boring than Syndicate. Syndicate's base is so cool looking, and this is just... Boring. Covenant's worse. This is just a little fucking church thing. Which of course it is, but still. Expected you to die a bit quicker. Look about you. If you think I'll be easy prey, you're sadly mistaken. You're not even armed. Make your move. <laughs> out here, that's a critical trait, lest you wind up corrupted or lost. And don't try to tell me a settlement will be safer. I'll not be trusting my fate to some bumbling constable. Fair enough. I am, or at least I was. The keep up the road, Stonereach was my home until these swine-loving soldiers showed up. 
don't recognize their banners, don't know who they are or why. And there's some young. God damn it. Don't spawn enemies next to quest givers. I knew it. Fine. Go to the keep and learn what you can. Feel free to leave none alive. They've got a camp to the west too. I'm headed to scout that out. Meet me there when you've dealt with these louts. Man, she's got no chill. So I go and check it out. Kill everyone. I don't give I don't give a I, I, I don't care. Kill them all. Murder the whole bunch. Whatever. <laughs> I might want to switch my sword for this one. These guys are all in armor. Thought you were another guy there for a second. You're right. This guy seems to have angered the entire camp <laughs> on his way out. Jesus. Two levels away from being qualified to actually even try, so. Actually, call it one level. Because I'm. For fuck's sake! I'm getting stun locked here! So, how did that not do any damage to you right there? Jesus. Right. Maybe coming here alone was the wrong idea. Yeah, one on one's not so easy, is it, bitch? Is it? being stun locked that's fine Ooh. 
Fire, what could possibly be going wrong? I think I've updated the fire effects too. I'm, I'm trailing little sparks now. Don't think that used to happen, did it? Eesh. Right, now we have to go see this person. Where? Sorry, where? Visit Porto de Mara War Camp, confront the Raiders leader. Okay, for some reason my quest markers aren't showing up on my map anymore. Oh wait, there it is. It was hidden by all the tents. Why wouldn't it be in front of the tents, game? Stupid. Terrific accent, can't tell if someone's faking it or actual Scott overdoing it. Might be better both. Some of the accents in the game are remarkably good. Some seem just a bit overcooked. I think some of the problem is some of the voice actors they got are either not very well directed or just not very good actors because there's a lot of super big hammy deliveries that just kind of um, would put Shatner to shame really. So, yeah, it might be just how they're directed. It might be someone faking an accent. Or it might be a bad actor. Or it might be a combination of any of those things. Some of the voice acting is actually really good, though. I think the new stuff we've been experiencing, some of it's really, really good. Like Grace, for example. Kind of one of the main NPCs that leads us through the opening acts of the game. She is very good. Past 1 a.m. Actually need to be protected tomorrow on Sunday. All right, mate. Hope you get a good night's sleep. See you next time. Uh, Exterminator 23s. Resub. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the resub, Aruni. Oh, wait. These are all low-level guys. I don't even need to try. They should just leave me alone as I wander through here. Yeah. No, I don't want anything to do well, except for that guy. So there's some guy screaming behind me. He wants to fight. You're barely worth the bullets, guys. Hmm, can I get up here? Looks like I might stand a chance of getting up here. Hmm. Camera! Jesus! Oh, there we go. Run and jump and run and jump! Renegade Shaman. Is that the camp I'm looking for by any chance? No, that's something else. Also, why does my hat keep reappearing? Keep turning it off, and it keeps reappearing. Oh, 
Yeah, not so much fun being on the other end of the grenades, is it? Hey? So I've started to craft item name quest. Oh, cool! That that that's a that's a that's an old bug. <laughs> I love you, Philip J. Fry. <laughs> Every time a game does that, all I can think about is that Futurama joke. I'll never forget you. Memory deleted. <laughs> I wonder how far away we are from the uh, re 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 reboot of Futurama coming back again. I was reminded it existed yesterday when I saw a news story about how. Um, is it Coolio? Coolio just died, right? One of the hip-hop rapper whatever guys. I think it was Coolio. Um, but of course he played um, Kwanzaa Bot for Futurama. And I saw a news story, apparently he's uh, already recorded some Kwanzaa Bot stuff for the new Futurama revival. So... Doesn't really tell us how far away the series is from coming back, though, because animation is a long process. But, you know, we're to the point where scripts have been written and dialogue has been recorded, at least, so we can't be that far away. Here we go, finally found the camp. Pigs are so cranky. All right, let's see. What are we supposed to be doing in here? <laughs> Defeat Sir Rulev, the Jervial. All right, mini boss fight. Sweet. That should deliver some nice XP. Right, there we are. Hello, fella. Actually drop anything though. Cheap bitch. Swashbucker gloves of the something furniture thing. Right. Good morning. Oh shit! Whoa! That was so dramatic, my hair changed colour briefly. <laughs> was that just a reflection of my glowy red sword? Oof! Thought I fell out of the world there for a second. Dramatic. Nice recovery though. Oh 
Oh jeez. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Got him mid leap. That was very dramatic. Alright. We're free and clear. Awesome. Let's see here. Well, we might as well take that up to an even 60. Why not? And... Um, how are we doing on health? Do we feel good on health? I'm feeling pretty decent on health. I mean, we survived a multiple onslaught of... I mean, they were like five levels lower than me, but still. You know what? Health is probably more important for dungeon survival. We'll do that. Alright, what's my level 25 consumable slot? Camping tier, right? Okay. Now then, uh, we need to... find our way... Oh, we exited the camp in the wrong direction, apparently. We need to go... Yeah, I'm gonna need to go through there again. And curl around the beach by looks of things. Oh no! I have to engage in more combat! What a nightmare! For a game with fairly decent combat. At least for an MMO. In fact, as far as MMO go, it'd be one of my favourite combat systems. Um, Fanny Star Online 2 Rebirth Sequence, whatever the fucking thing was called. Uh, that was pretty good too, but that was overall far less interesting as an MMO. So, that was more like a combat sandbox than anything else. Which is fine, if that's what you're after. Do you love that echo? He gritted through it. I was going to be all smart ass and blow him on his ass, but he just went grit. Cheeky. Very, very cheeky. Alright. Where are you, friendo? You know what? How did that level 9 board need three shots to kill? Climb, please. Thank you. Hi! Ah, you dealt that laughing bastard a thrashing. Well done. The wolf finally met a more vicious wolf. This doesn't mean I trust you, by the way. But I can't argue with your results. Did you learn why they're here? Sounds like an authentic accent to me. Just sounds a bit overacted. Hmm. Let's see. Varangians, eh? Never heard of them. Not much to work with here. But I didn't expect much anyways. Ha! Backup plan. I'll surround the keep with enough traps so those bastards regret they ever came here. Heh! <laughs> Oh, I've reached my Azoth cap. We best spend some somewhere along the way. Maybe we'll do some crafting or something, I don't know. Alright, so that was at the end of your quest. You just uh, made a plan and we're done. Okie dokes. Took me further away from this quest than I thought I'd be, but okay. Let's fast travel back to Marauder Shrine. Which... Can we get up there? I don't think we can. I'm going to have to go the long way. My lights keep flashing like they would for a follow, but it doesn't seem like... If people are following, I'm not seeing the followers being reported, so thank you. If it's just someone playing with the 
unlisted chat commands to make the lights flash. Well done, you've confused me. Come on, come on. Ah. I feel like they've nerfed clambering a bit. Can't get up mountains the same way I used to be able to. Used to be able to cheese your way up there. Took a bit of doing sometimes, but... I feel like they've watered that down a bit. No need to rush, buddy. I'm not after your iron. <laughs> that dude scrambled. No, it's my iron! I'll just be like, uh, I don't know. I feel like climbing's probably client side. Maybe though. I don't know. Maybe I'm just out of practice with my scrambling. Because there is a a nuanced clumsiness to it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, head south and then curl up north. Still glad they never bothered to put a minimap in this game. A minimap would have ruined some of this more. I mean, not... I don't know if immersive is the right word, but... I like being not being distracted by a minimap just showing me a... I mean, you've seen me in Cyberpunk. I crash into things when I'm driving because I'm staring at the minimap. I feel more immersed when there's no minimap, even if it is slightly more inconvenient. Not in all games. Some games really, 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 really need a minimap to feel good. This one, I'm glad they never put mine in. There was calls for it, but the devs were like, nah. Look at this guy. That's a bear. I thought it was a wolf for a second there, but no, those are bear claws, and that's a bear skull. And that's a bear necklace. Let me guess, you want me to go hunt a bear? <laughs> Taking a wild stab in the dark here. We're gonna go hunt a bear, aren't we? You there. Ever been mauled? <laughs> Death escapes us on this island. So why not go up against a bear? <coughs> Can you prove yourself tough enough to withstand Called the it. sharp teeth and claws of a killer? <laughs> Almost every day. It's a great way to wake yourself up, squaring up with a fuzzy behemoth of nature. <sighs> Better than a cup of coffee. For a while. Wrestle All a bear. All I can feel when I bring a beast down is the sting of victory. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Controls this territory northwest. Brutal bear beater hammer. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and have the battle of your immortal life. Will do, you overacting ham. Will do. Mold, mold. It's just the accent. M A U W L E D. It means to be chewed on, basically. <laughs> chewed on and scratched by a large animal. You can get mold by a wolf, mold by a bear. If you're feeling a bit cutesy when you're, when you're, when you're, you know, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a cute small dog. I don't know. Staffordshire Bull Terrier. They're not really cute and small, are they? Don't, don't get mauled by a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. One of those little leapy dogs. Hello, big bear friend. Now, what level are you? 17? Grizzle? Oh, he's named it all. Grizzlemore. Is that just the type of bear? Or is this bear a special bear that's been named? I feel worse about killing it now. Oh. <laughs> they still look threatening when they're up on their hind. But 
but I am overleveled for you, so no big deal. Shall try and remember this quest, though, because that hammer seemed quite nice. Oh, wait, you dropped a bag. What's in your bag, buddy? Mana potion, who cares? Odd not hearing the Aussie influence on the U? Yeah. Uh, where'd our guy go? Oh, there he is. There's his tent. I chose the Navy Bar instead of the Mirror. Mm hmm. I like a Navy Bar. It's much easier to ignore, but very, very useful when you need it. <laughs> You've done it! Good for you, showing some true brawn. Next time. Try fighting it with no weapons at all. Bare fists versus bare fists. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. It's pretty there's no gauntlets in this game, actually. I wouldn't mind a double fisted melee weapon. Bragging rights. You know who this will really impress? Huntsman Lee. Odd Nell's an odd man, but he appreciates a lurid story. <laughs> I'm just an enthusiast. Odd Nell, though, cares too much about appearances. But Eternum's full of all sorts. Go tell him you defeated a bear, and he'll make sure everyone in Oxbro knows it. All right. We're just going to sail on past the uh, joke about double fisting a bear because, well. Bit obvious, isn't it? Approximately 3% of my audience are laughing their asses off right now. say 3%. I think statistically my audience is um, it's quite a bit above average, right? General population wise, about 3%. My audience might be closer to 40%. Uh, that follow-up attack. Where is it? Yeah, this one. Skyfall Sword. That's so powerful. If you unlock Skyward Slash at any point, prioritize unlocking that as soon as you can because it makes a massive difference in DPS. Alright, where are we going exactly? No, we're heading back into town. Fine. Full before, haven't I? Have I just not seen this side of town? Man, I like what they've done with the gates over here. So much cooler looking than it used to be. Oh, I have been here before. I guess I just never went out the, the back entrance there. Which, if you set yourself up in this town, you'll be coming into that out of there quite a lot, but I guess I just haven't done in this session. Yeah, I remember.
remember coming through and remarking on the new buildings. You did what? With a what? Oh, jeez, camera, a camera, bigot. stop, 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 stop. Oh, Jesus, what was that? You did what? With a what? A bear? <laughs> now that takes serious guts. Uh, did you wind up spilling yours in the fight? I'm standing right in front of you. Of course my guts went ripped open and bled across the ground. You bet. Good news is sparse. Although in this world, yeah. There's no such thing as permanent death, so. Every crunch of bone and spray of blood. And I'll make sure the people of Oxborough hear it all. Maybe with a few small embellishments if you catch my meaning. Nice chunk of XP. Right, put your sword away. You're in town. Settle down. Let's find something to do with some of this Azoth. Uh, where is the... Oh, it's through here, isn't it? Bum, 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 bum. Alright, can I make my own blunderbuss at this point? Refined wood, leathers... Yeah, it looks like I can. I mean, I don't have the materials here, but we can get them here. Although I'm running a tier 3 blend of us at the moment, so whatever I make here is probably not going to be better, but still. Um, let's try and make a hunter's long shot, maybe. Iron, timber, leather, silver, fey... Oh, I don't have any fey iron. Okay, fine. Hey, no crusade. Why do you have music around you, but you don't have an instrument out? Is this bugged, or...? <laughs> so that's just how you roll these days. I feel like that might be bugged, or lag, or something. Right, let's see here. Uh... Greatsword. Yeah, let's try, let's try and make a, a greatswords. So, um... We need some metals, refined wood, leathers, special resource, and as well. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, grab some of that. Oh, the biggest quality of life change. Just being able to access your other shit. Alright, so. Smelting. Reagents. Uh, wood. Don't think we need any weaving. We'll take it anyway. Can here, but don't need uh, craft mods. There we go. Right, and then we just smush them all back across. Don't even have to waddle around over encumbered. And at zero cost, by the way. God, what a change! Q O L. Oh, we, I forgot to check out the hammer, too. Let's do that. Uh, okay, what do we get here? We got raw hide and massive bear paw. That's new. Use this resource when crafting to get the following effect. Mortal power. When you kill something, gain 50% empowered for 20 seconds. That's significant. 15% empowered for 20 seconds? It's huge. At least in the context of how I know the game works, it would have been huge. Might not be huge anymore, I don't know. Alright, what do we got here? We have a light headwear with spectral ward. Who cares? No, no, no. Alright, let's have a look. 295, 347 damage versus... 302, so it's better than the other hammer. We have 129 strike versus 117. We have plus 13 strength. Empowering armor breaker. If armor breaker breaks a block, the next attack within 5 seconds deals 34% additional damage. Woo! Hello! Goodbye, old hammer. Hello, new hammer. Um... Alright, 
Let's see if we can make a great sword that's slightly better than what I'm carrying. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Alright. I got iron. Find wood. Uh, oh, any coarse. Did none not bring across my leather? Could have sworn I bought it across my leather. Oh, I bought it across a rawhide. <laughs> Coarse leather. Bring the rest of that too, or we'll find it while we're here. Oops, a daisy. Alright, iron great sword. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's the add the maximum azoth we can do right now. Um I think we need higher tier to do higher versions of this, don't we? And let's see here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to waste the mortal power one just yet, just in case we keep going with this. Just uh, we use a bit of wolf blood, basic strength dex. All right, and we'll make two because what's our limiting factor here? Oh, the wolf blood is. <laughs> You drunk, Night Crusade? What's the matter? You were better yesterday. Bloody hell, I can't read your name. Mark of Argy? I have dark mode on and your name come, is coming up in black. I can barely read it. <laughs> that was okay? Man, you must have to play really shit to get worse than that. Tip, tip 10 bucks for that. Really? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, mate. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Oh, right, I forgot I bought the uh, tier 3 off the market this morning. Of course, I wasn't going to make anything better. Oh, well, we burned up some Azoth. And we got some repair parts back, I guess. That was the ping? <laughs> right. That's my excuse. You can't have it. Um, I'm not actually carrying any jewels worth slotting, am I? No, not really. Okay, Dex, let's see now. Alright, we've got some quests over here. What's this? Piece together the strange alchemical recipe. Lost pirates of river to ruin grotto. Stolen Jacob Evans last shipment of mead. Where's that and we're hawking? Seems a little... Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, we can fast travel up to the Syndicate Shrine and do that right away, I think. There's also the landmarks. Actually, you know what? We might... Yeah, head out of town. We'll go grab the landmarks. And unlock that fast travel point on our way through or something. Not the most efficient way to go about things, but... Eh. we got plenty of time. Does look nice here with the dappled sunlight, doesn't it? Well, actually, before I leave, let me go look at my old house. How fancy does my old house look? Or actually, not my old house, my current house on the live servers, I believe. Ooh! Now oh, I looked at this yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Did I do that on stream? I don't remember whether I did on stream. But this is where my uh, residence currently is in the live service, or at least I think it is. Been a while. Let's have a look. Wow, this is quite nice. I'm not sure about the green color scheme against the red walls. That's a bit harsh. Ooh. 
Ooh, a bit of a mishmash up here, too. Nice, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my play housing is still in this building. Yeah, it looks very different from the outside than it used to look. <laughs> the layout inside is still identical. Which I guess was kind of essential, otherwise... When they made the change, or when they make the change to the live servers, everyone have to redecorate their house. Although it might still stand that way anyway, given the walls are a different colour than they used to be. People might change their minds. Ooh, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? I like this white one. How much does it... Did they... No, they haven't changed the pricing. It's still 10 grand. Does Santa close over your house? <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, so just head towards the marker, grab that, grab that, and probably check out the Midnight Den on the way through to get some saltpeter for making poo-poo things. Cartridges was the word I was attempting to struggle for there, and my brain spat out poo-poo things. Well done. I am a grown-up with a vocabulary. And a brain that works perfectly all of the time. Ooh, quest encounter. Stellar research. Examine the ancient device. I imagine that's part of this. Open world quests. That's new as well. Okay, right, do we have a marker for this? Uh, Contributions rewards will... Oh, it disappeared. Did I... Did someone finish it, or did I zone away from it? Oh, there it is. Level zero. Celebrate so examine the ancient device. What ancient device? Give me a hint, game. There's no marker on the map. There's no marker on my nav bar. Okay, I have no idea what you want from me, game, but it's not climbing that thing for sure. Oh, why are we leaving again? No idea what it wants from me. All right. Let's head north then. Maybe it's a bit north. Nope. Yeah, there's just like one spot right there. That's... <laughs> Triggers the quest, but... There's nothing here! Eh, whatever. The device is in the... What's that I thought? But then I went to climb the tower, and the quest timed out. Like, if I go to the steps, the quest cancels. See? I can't even get near the steps before it starts to go, Oh, you're leaving the area! Unless they've just not... Oh, they've zoned it. It's in, it's in a weird sphere or something around the quest item up here or something. Oh, they need to fix that. Actually, you know what? While we're up here fighting these bone guys, I'm going to switch back out to the hammer. This is the quest item, obviously. Yeah. All 
All right, ancient device. Examining. Oh, I thought this might have spawned a mini boss or something. It's just that guy respawning naturally. Was that it? I got distracted by the monsters and didn't see what else it was asking from me. There's no more quest line. Was that it? We just had to come up here and... Eh, whatever. Did I at least get decent XP for that? Anyone see? Weird. Nope, let's trigger it again. Can I just keep doing this? Defeat the enforcers. Alright, so it did trigger those. I didn't seem to get any XP for that. What is this? Trigger it out again. Quest encounter. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me the... It doesn't do anything. <laughs> you just trigger the thing, it spawns the guys, you fight them, and it does nothing. No rewards, no XP. No, yep, no, nothing up here. I wonder if that's broken or it's just not finished yet. <laughs> oh, I see you, bunny. I see you. Death room above! <laughs> Critical kill. All rewards will be lost if you do not return. What rewards, game? What rewards? I did it three times and you didn't reward me at all. I did like the idea of open world triggered event quests, though. I've always liked that stuff. At least when it works. Alright, now. What am I doing? Where am I going? Boop. Uh, Bumblebee should be five minutes from the time. Yeah, it should be like a cylinder around the landmark, shouldn't it? And it seems to be spherical, which is... An easier way to do it in the code, but less practical in use. <laughs> Especially when the objective is on a tower. Don't seem to have one surrounding this though. What is on this side? Oh, same kind of thing, but no quest for this one. Hmm. Oh, can't interact with it at all. Hmm. Weird, 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 weird. Absolutely fun if the great sword design they went with was more as my hand no realistic. Yeah, it's a bit fast, isn't it? 
for a great sword. I mean, the animation does seem to give it a feeling of weight, but that attack is... Yeah, a few of the special attacks just seem way too fast for a blade of this size. I wonder if they're going to slow it down. Rebalance it a bit. Is F spin to win? Yeah, it's um, a nice sort of repositioner when you're going through a series of enemies. Just go whoop, and you move forward. So unlike the Great Axe spin to win, you're not sort of rooted in spot. So you just go whoosh through two or three enemies. You turn around and attack them from behind. It actually works really well on the flow of combat when you're dealing with a group. Because you reposition. Do damage on the way through. I think it's 80%. 80% damage. Doo -doo 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 uh, oh no, no, it's more. Yeah, 110% damage and 120 on the way through. We enter the onslaught uh, stance. And it slows them for 4 seconds, 20%. So just enough time for you to turn around and go for a counter uh, offensive. Or keep going and create a bit more room. But yeah, not uh, not quite as offensive as the Great Sword. Oh, sorry, the um, Great Axe uh, spin to win. Uh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's the Salt Peter? There should be another lump around here somewhere. That's not it, is it? That's silver. Oh, there it is. I think they've moved those around a bit. Okay, that's the wolf den done with. Next landmark. Uh, Great Axe and Great Sword really are based on League of Legends. I uh, can't speak to that, never played. Okay. I imagine it's the same thing up there. Uh, right, we need to go unlock that next. abilities, reap maelstrom and execute just makes you Darius. Don't know who Darius is, but yeah. I imagine they might have nerfed Great Axe down a bit because I'm not seeing it nearly as often as I used to see it. It used to be such the meta weapon, especially for PvPers, but I feel like I'm not seeing it as much. Achievement unlocked. Get to know if... Okay, just exploratory stuff. How much do we get loaded? Yeah, loadouts is going to be fantastic. I didn't do a lot of loadout switching myself. Just because I tended to keep a fairly consistent playstyle because I didn't really do PvP. But yeah, for people who switch between PvP, PvE, and exploratory stuff, being able to rapidly switch your loadout and your um, uh, 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 weapon trees. Just be able to save a preset. It's going to be such a huge thing. Right. Uh, so that's the fast travel thing. What is this? The spread. I recommend level 25. All right. That should get us a few levels. Fight some tough guys. <gasps> Why 
high level bit here. Yeah. One XP. <laughs> Alright, what are we dealing with in here? Can't see anybody yet. That looks new. That's not how the spires used to look. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, geez, I had some lag there. Genuine frame rate drop. Oh yeah, they've redesigned all this stuff a little bit. Don't know if I, know, I can't. Yeah, I can't even get in there. So it's just the fenced-off arena or something. What is it? Looks very cool, though. Oh, here we go. All right, I am about to get slaughtered, I imagine, because that seems like a, a boss arena. Look at this goopy stuff move. All right, level 26. Oh, shit. Oh shit, get up, get up, get up! Please, for the love of God, get up! Okay, that wasn't so bad. Did manage to get ourselves poisoned a bit though. Oh, well, there we go, I knew it! There's our mini boss. The Burrower. Explosive. Level 26. I think we're going to leave him alone. We're underleveled and alone, which is not a good mix for that kind of old little open world boss guy. Especially if you've never fought him before and you've got no idea what he does, how he does it, or how quickly he does it. Five XP per. Not as much as I was hoping. You are playing on the test room with a new weapon grade. Yeah, I mean, there's. Oh, it is entirely possible that they. People who usually main the great axe are just not using it because there's a new thing to try. Entirely possible as well. All right, grinding away on these guys is not going to get me the XP boost I want or need. Let's go find another quest. All right, bottle it up. So south, then east. been two hours already, bloody hell. Alright, can't take a break here, it's not safe. Oh, we could probably take a break fairly safely at the fast travel point right there. Unless some dickhead drags a hostile mob across here, which is always a possibility. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a break, have a stretch, and I'll be our bees. Ah. 